y'all? It's your girl Leela Lynn. another video hi y'all i haven't done a sit down video in a little minute but it's summertime i basically just want to bring y'all my summer hygiene routine i'm just gonna be showing y'all the products that i typically use some are some that i've been using some are new some i haven't even tried before this will be my first time trying them but y'all are gonna try something new to find out what works for you but i'm not gonna blabber on too much i'm gonna get straight into this video if you're new to my channel hi my name is Aliyah lynette i make all types of videos i'm not gonna say everything but majority like vlog pranks sit down talks like this but yeah y'all if you're new to the channel and you want to join my little i still gotta find a name for all but anyways please give this video a thumbs up like comment and subscribe comment more videos down below that y'all want to see me do but without further ado let's go ahead and get into this video all right so the first thing that we're going to start off with is oral hygiene i don't know i just want to kind of go like top to bottom if that makes sense but the toothpaste that i've been using recently is crest this is typical crest whitening protection and then this baking soda whitening colgate toothpaste nothing fancy i used to use sensodyne but since i i went to my dentist and she said i shouldn't really be using whitening toothpaste like sensodyne because that makes your gums or teeth really sensitive something she says so it's not a toothpaste if you don't have sensitive gums or teeth then you shouldn't be using it and i don't so i don't know why i was using it i occasionally use the baking soda one but not really i ran out of it actually but i might purchase some more i don't really like the taste of it so i probably won't be getting that no more yeah and then i use a regular medium brussel toothbrush the mouthwash i still use is Thera breath my favorite 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 i have the icy mint and then i have the sparkling mint Honestly, both are really good. I just like switch back and forth between them during the days. And then I have my tongue scraper somewhere. I have a metal tongue scraper, but that's in the bathroom. And then I have these regular placards, glosses that I use. These micro mint ones are actually the best, my favorite. And I'm able to like angle to get like every single part of my mouth. So I like those. And then for aftercare, like chapstick and stuff, I use this orange mango blast. The brand is Blistex. They have like a whole bunch. They have an orange mango. They have a papaya. You don't have to get tropical scents and stuff for summer. I just personally like it. My scents change with the season. So like for fall, I use like completely different products than I really would use in summer. But I just like it. It gives me more of a summer vibe. I like to get that tropical smell going. It smells really good. And the chapstick is good and i still use my eos one too just the regular i think it's vanilla and then can't forget the lip gloss i get my lip gloss from bath and body Works. yeah this is the one that i get and yeah i've actually been getting into teeth whitening i just ordered the kit i ordered it off amazon and yeah i'm gonna start getting into that i just got my teeth clean and stuff so yeah i'm investing in that too all right and then moving on to skincare i used to just wash my face with african black soap but i would like use my hands and recently i've been not breaking out no yes i've been breaking out but like random like spots that like you know usually if i eat a lot of dairy i'll start breaking out on my chin but that's the only one i noticed but i've been breaking out kind of everywhere and they've been like small so it's like they're not big enough to just like i don't know i can't really explain it i invested it in a facial brush it has this and it has like three different brushes that you can use depending on you like it. My favorite brush is this one. It's the silicone one. It gives you that good cleanse and exfoliates your skin at the same time. And I really like that because I feel like the other two brushes are just a little too soft and I always like to get a good exfoliation whenever I do wash my face. So I invested in this. I'm gonna try to find a link for it so I can put it down in the description. But yeah, and I still use African black soap, but I've kind of switched it up a little bit. I switched to Cetaphil, the Gently Skin Cleanser. I used to use Cetaphil before I started African Black Soap, but I wanted to do something more natural. There's nothing wrong with going more natural, but I don't know, I just kind of wanted to switch it up again. So I went back to Cetaphil. Cetaphil has always been good to my skin. It's a very gentle cleanser and I love it. Uh, I love African Black Soap too as well. I still use them. I use both. My skin's pretty used to both, so. As for exfoliator, I still use the Equate Apricot, nothing fancy. That's like my OG. I'll never get, I'll never stop using this. It's just a really good exfoliator. 
And then uh, let's see. I also invested in a facial steamer. Everything that I'm like naming, like y'all don't have to get. This is just what I personally use when like spring slash summertime comes up. Facial steamer, it gets hot, you start sweating more. So your face is gonna need to, to breathe more. Your pores are gonna need to break loose of all that sweat and dirt that just builds up in general, depending on your skin type. But I invested in a facial steamer. Nobody wants to sit there and boil water and wait. Mm -hmm. So I invested in a facial steamer. I do that about once a week to open up the pores, get all the dirt and all of that out of my skin. And then for moisturizer, I use the Cetaphil Cetaphil moisturizer. I don't use the, I think I was using like Pond's, Pond's moisturizer, but I stopped using that because it was good, but I don't know. I feel like Cetaphil works better if you use the products like hand in hand, so like the face cream, the eye cream, cleanser, and whatnot, so yeah. And then for toner spray, I have my rose water, facial spray, rose water. I also use apple cider vinegar sometimes. That shit be stinking, so sometimes I don't use it, sometimes I do. Whenever I'm feeling like it, I use it, but my Mario Badescu, can never go wrong with Mario Badescu. I got this one in this size, a big one, a big one for the house, one in this size, and then I have a travel size one, so it's coming with me everywhere. And I also use this as like a setting spray whenever I do wear makeup. I don't wear makeup a lot, but when I do, I use this as a setting spray. All right, and then for my facial oil slash facial serum, I use this Ancient Cosmetics Face Serum. I've been using this for about a year now. It has avocado oil, grapeseed oil, turmeric oil, and they're all natural ingredients. I love it. It gives my skin like that. Oh, like, damn, like, how much water is she drinking? Even though I've been slacking on drinking water, but it just gives your skin like that nice, healthy zest and glow, and I, and I love it. I love it so much. And then for face masks, I also got this Anxious Cosmetics turmeric mask. I've been having a lot of blemish marks, so the turmeric is really good in lifting those scars and blemish marks. So I haven't used it that much. I've only used it like two times on like problem areas, but that's also been working really good for me. And who wants to have acne be breaking out in the summer? Nobody, so face mask really does come in handy. I've been using that. I still use mud mask as well. Not mud mask, like clay mask. I use the asset clay mask every now and then, but it's a little harsh on my skin sometimes, and I don't really need that on my skin right now. My skin, I'm really trying to focus on my blemishes right now so that's why i've been using this as far as like makeup removal and stuff i don't really wear makeup like that like rarely the most i do is like my eyebrows i'm not gonna lie and like a little bit of highlighter like i don't just full on pound on makeup for one i don't know how and for two I, i'm too lazy to do all of that so i don't care right now i have on eyeshadow lashes and i did do my eyebrows and i put on some lip gloss and that's it that's it that's it. And then, yeah, this is not really like, this is kind of like facial. You just regular, regular cotton balls. I have cotton rounds and cotton balls. If I do wear makeup, I remove my makeup with like cotton rounds for like makeup remover wise. But I don't wear makeup and again, so I don't really invest in makeup remover stuff. But if I were to recommend any facial face, face makeup remover wipes, uh, Burt's Bees I know is really, really good, less harsh. I know Neutrogena has some. A different makeup brands have different makeup remover wipes. It just depends on what you like. I don't really have a preference. I do like Burt's Bees. It's not as harsh on my skin and it smells really good. So yeah, if you are looking for something you wanna remove your makeup with. But yeah, y'all, it's gonna be hot. You are gonna be sweating. The last thing you want is nasty, waxy ass ears. So make sure y'all cleaning y'all ears and doing all of that. All right, y'all, next we're gonna move down to washing yourself in the shower body care all that good stuff so exfoliator i think it was the tree hut one i showed y'all i still do use the tree hut brand usually around like fall time winter time i use the the shea butter yeah shea butter i, I forgot but i tried recently tried this watermelon shea scrub watermelon i don't even like watermelon but this shit this shit is it it hits on a whole different level it smells like super good it says for hydrated and youthful looking skin. Ooh, and it's vegan friendly. If y'all looking for something vegan friendly. But yeah, another exfoliating type of thing that I usually just use Tree Hut, but I recently invested in this body blend. Sugar Glow, it's basically like coffee grounds. Coffee grounds are really good. I did some research on this. Coffee grounds are really good with reducing cellulite and helping with like the stimulations of the blood, blood cells and muscles and tissues to help you just get that circulation. Cause basically cellulite is just like built up fat. It doesn't have any circulation. So it starts to dimple and get that cottage cheese look. But I know coffee scrub personally has helped with me. I never had like bad cellulite. I've really only ever had like stretch marks, but I do have a little bit 
this cellulite under my booty cheek. So this has really been coming in handy with that. I've had it before, but I just recently, this is a brand new one that I bought because I had it ran out, but for summertime, man. Oh, and it exfoliates your skin. So like if you use this, you don't have to use the other one unless you just want to be tearing your skin off. All right, as for soap goes, I started, I still use the Dove Sensitive Skin because it's non-scented whenever I'm cleaning my lady parts and like my ass. I use bar soap, I don't use like since it's soap, like nothing's supposed, since it's supposed to be down there. Like everybody should know that by now. If you don't, I'm telling you, don't put scented stuff on your vagina. Don't do it, please don't. You get UTIs and infections, no scented, it's supposed to be down there. Like if you got a weird odor, go to the doctor. Don't put no scented soap. That's not gonna make whatever you got going on, your fish smell, your whatever you got, go away. Use some unscented bar soap. Next to unscented, I also you do use this cucumber one. It gives like a refreshing, like, it smells like cucumber, but like not like heavy cucumber, like a light cucumber scent. And I like that because it gives me like the fresh scent. So I like that. So I use this. I still use a sensitive skin as well. And then as far as like body wash goes, I go in like, I go in with like two to three different body washes. So I go in with the bar soap to clean the basics. And then I go in with this to get my body like that clean coat to like pick up the scent of my, my next soap. That probably don't even make no sense, but oh well. So yeah, I use the Dove Deep Moisture. And I really use this cause like it's summertime. Yeah, I don't wanna be smelling like pina colada and pineapple 24 seven. Like sometimes I just wanna smell like regular and clean. That's when I use the dough. And then uh, the next one that I go in that gives that tropical is, I use this is Soft Soap brand. I usually use, oh, I forgot the name of the brand, but they have like a whole bunch of different tropical scents. I know this brand does too, Soft Soap, but this one is Real Carnival. Y'all, this shit smell good, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I can't even explain it, it just smells good. And then y'all know I go in with like a regular rag when I'm cleaning my lady parts. And then I go in with a loofah whenever I bathe with like the regular body stuff. So yeah. All right, as far as like shaving and stuff, cause I'm obviously shaving way more cause it's summertime cause I'm wearing more shirts and I'm showing my arms. And the last thing you want is to be hot as fuck. You just have like hella body hair. Like, you know, invest in a razor. If you don't know how to shave, look up some videos. Always shave down in my personal opinion everybody stuff works different for everybody else when i do shave i shave with like i shave with the three blade razor and i usually always use coconut oil as shaving cream i don't use regular shaving cream i've said this in my previous video because my skin is super sensitive so i don't like using like regular shaving cream but yeah, as far as like aftercare when i get out the shower for if i shave i go in with this aloe vera gel and most of these products I do get from Walmart. The body washes I got from Walmart. My skincare I got from Walmart. Besides the Mario Badescu and Ancient Cosmetics. And then the facial brush, brush of course. And then also I go in with this Hawaiian Tropic Sheer. I use this as my sunscreen. It gives me like that. It makes my skin look like glittery. It smells good. And it's sunscreen all in one. This shit is like the bomb. I love it. And as far as like body butters and lotions, I, I'm so happy because I haven't been like perfume and lotion shopping in like a fat minute. Like I usually get the same lotion like Ponds, Jerrigan's, all that, but like summer we pop out. So I got this Ancients Cosmetics Tropical Pineapple Body Butter, AKA lotion. That shit smells so good. And then I also got the Ancients Cosmetics. Ancients Cosmetics, if y'all haven't shopped there or looked at anything that they have, I recommend y'all go and shop there. They have stuff for pretty much not like everything but like skincare stuff like exfoliators face masks serums body oils all that and this is what y'all gonna be catching me using looking like a goddamn what model or something this is the body oil gotta stay oiled up and glowy especially after that fresh shave all right and then i also have the belize tropical cabana oh body cream from bath and body works and with, along with that, I also got the spray. Oh wait, that's the wrong one. The spray. These two smell like, you just smell like, mm, you smell like summer. I smell like summer. And then I also got this Bahama one. It's passion fruit and banana flower. I almost said banana flavor with my slow ass. 
So yeah, I got that. Oh yeah, also, I'm sorry, with aftercare, I'm gonna go back a little bit. I know I said I use the aloe, aloe gel after I shave, and then I go in with that sunscreen. I also go in with this Jergens Wet Skin and the coconut oil scent. It's basically, you use it right after you get out the shower with your body, when your body's still like wet slash damp. Yeah, and it basically locks all that moisture. It's Cause you know sometimes when you get out the shower after you shave, you ain't really got that moisture left in your legs and your shit just get dry. Well, this locks all that moisture in so you ain't gonna be dry when you get out the shower. And then as as far as like deodorant and all that stuff goes, I have three different types of deodorants. This is about to get a little confusing, but this is what I do. Okay, so I have spray deodorant. I use this Dove Cucumber Scent Spray Deodorant mini one this is like my travel deodorant. When it gets sweaty, you moving around all day, you're gonna get sweaty ass armpits. This keeps it nice and dry and not dripping and this just is really refresh refreshing smell that probably don't even make any sense but i'm gonna make it make sense so yeah spray deodorant is my best friend during the summer because regular stick deodorant is not the best feeling when you sweat in the sticky and the rubber feel like ugh, i just can't explain it if you know you know like that when you move your arm after you put on stick deodorant and then you got that rubby feeling like that should be annoying. Like, I don't know if that's just me. Comment below if that's y'all too, but I don't like that shit. And then the, if I do use stick deodorant, it's just this simple coconut scented one by Secret. And that shit is bomb too, it smells good. It just bring like, it's like, it's like that final touch. Yeah, y'all, that's pretty much it. That's like the products that I mainly be using for like my hygiene during the summer. Of course, I'm trying to invest in a mini fan. Like summer is just summer. You're gonna be hot, you're gonna sweat. It's natural, so I definitely recommend just showering more, making sure you're staying cool. There's no reason you should just be getting like musty. I'm um, not, this video isn't just to cover your must. Like this is actually like, you gotta have good basic one-on-one -on -one hygiene. And I just wanna let y'all know that tropical scentsy stuff isn't gonna like make you smell or taste like roses. You know, you don't have to do tropical scents during the summer. You do what works for you. This is what I do. I'm sharing this video to show y'all what I do. Not with me telling y'all to do because not everybody may do what I wanna do. Not everybody may switch up their scents like I do with the seasons. Some people might think that's extra and it is extra. It is, but that's okay. Oh, and yeah, don't forget y'all, make sure y'all drinking water and staying hydrated, eating y'all fruits and vegetables because you know, your body really does need that. And I'm not gonna show the vitamins this time around, but the basic vitamins that I do use are maca root, cranberry, fish oil, vitamin C, keratin or biotin for hair, skin, and nails. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And make sure y'all keep some gum on the side, you know what I mean? Uh, keep that breath fresh, all that good stuff. But yeah, y'all, I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope y'all take something out of this video, purchase some of these products. Any products that I do find, I'm gonna leave the link in the description for y'all. I want to share with y'all what I do because I want y'all smelling good like so nice like that but yeah y'all without further ado if you're new to the channel like I said please give this video a thumbs up subscribe comment down below more videos that y'all want to see me do and I'll see y'all in the next video bye that was